<laughs> Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest trailer is right here. The anime will be released on the 7th of July, but I don't think I can wait that long, so I'm going to watch a trailer review. For those of you who don't know what the 100 Years Quest is all about, Team Natsu embarks on a 100 year quest to seal five potentially destructive dragons known as the five dragon gods. Apparently, each one of them is equal to Actologia. Then, while away, the members of the guild are introduced to a mysterious person, a new member of fairy tale named Toka. Her sudden appearance and mysterious aura catches attention of Gajo, Juvia, and Jelal, who became ally of fairy tale. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of him too. As some of you know, I am a big fairy tale member. Check out my bracelet. The fairy tale manga is still ongoing. The whole story has been with me since my teenage years, which been, which has been some time ago. It's not just a nostalgic feeling I'm having for the main characters. There's more to that. I have rewatched the fairy tale series about ten times, if not more. So I deem myself a big fan. I don't quite understand the all hate that fairy tale series is getting. Apparently, which I've learned not long ago. Apparently. People just don't like the plot, think it's stupid. And I suppose it all depends on what we all like. There are some extremely popular animes that I don't particularly get on with. But I think calling fairy tale trash is a little bit too much and it's definitely getting on my nerves. I'm definitely going to react to fairy tale 100 years quest, starting from July the 7th. So if you are interested to watch my reactions to it, I suggest you subscribe to this channel, like the video to make sure that my video pops up on your feed as soon as it's released. In the meantime, you can also check my Patreon exclusive reactions to some popular series which I will list here. But other than that, I suppose it's time to watch the trailer. I don't have it with English dub, I'm afraid. That option is not out yet. I have, however, used the YouTube tool that allows you to auto-translate from Japanese, so it might not be 100% perfect, but it's better than nothing since myself and probably most of you don't speak Japanese. Although I must say, I do have a quite a large Japanese audience, so you'll be fine. And you're actually lucky you can speak Japanese. I wish I could do that. Here we go. それを楽しんできな。魔導士ギルド創設以来。100年クエスト。100年クエスト。99 わあ。この依頼は世界中を探しても誰にもこなせんということじゃ。Wow, who are these people? They're so strong. The Ice Story. So that's going to be the opening song, right? It's Toka. <laughs> oh no, this is the end. Oh. oh my god, you guys, that was a good trailer. Now, how do you like the animation? I feel like the animation has changed again. Personally, my favorite is the original animation from first episodes of Fairy Tail in general. And the animation obviously evolved, the studios have changed. I don't think it's bad at the moment. I think it's okay. They're obviously trying to improve it. 
uh, while keeping the cost down, I think. And obviously, what they want to introduce it to new audience. I hope that more people will get attracted to fairy tale because to watch fairy tale 100 years quest, you don't actually have to have a knowledge of previous episodes and you know the story. Um, Mashima is very good at introducing the characters, so we'll definitely get a quick introduction in the first episodes. Their backstories are not going to influence the 100 years quest, I think. We just need to know what the abilities are, character, and that we can roll with the story. I think fairy tale title deserves more fans, a younger audience to carry the anime to the future. I am definitely a big fan of fairy tale. Like I've said, I've grown up with it. It's been around me in the toughest moments. I think each and one of you has an anime that left a positive mark on you and just helped you carry you through life. That was fairy tale for me. Uh, the manga, the anime, the story. I would say the only problem that I have with the story is that there is a lot of fan service and this fan service is focusing on two main characters, Erza and Lucy. Thankfully not on Wendy because she's a little girl. So I have been reading fairy tale manga up to a point where the fan service became a little bit too heavy. I'm hoping that this is something they, they're going to slightly fix in the anime because there were a lot of protests from the fans. So that's something that I don't particularly enjoy. I think fairy tale should be what for the story for the characters not for you know what I mean <laughs> I'd like to do a cosplay of Urza Scarlet at some point I just need to get back into the shape start going back to the gym get these muscles so I can you know cosplay as Urza Scarlet as she is my absolute favorite alongside Lucy Mira Jane, Jello, Natsu and Grey, and Lexus. I really like all of these characters. Even members of the other guilds like Kaguya, Meredy, they're all very relati relatable. So I hope you will all join me in a month of time on 7th of July. Remember the date, that's when the anime is getting aired. I'm going to watch it, edit it, and release it as soon as I can. So fingers crossed, I'll see you there. Thanks so much. Look, for those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full length, and 100% opacity videos aired release. On top of that, I react to Patreon exclusive anime titles. And as my Daimyo Patreon, you can even get a shout out in the video. Alternatively, you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks. And all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me. And all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio, which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you, so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!